لأجله مفعول لأجله Firstly, the idea of a maf'ul. Um, the the, the maf'ul has something or, or like a reason for a verb or something attached to a verb. An action was done for what? <laughs> the maf'ul B was the direct object. The thing that the action was done to. The maf'ul li'ajlihi, also called the maf'ul lahu. Maf'ul lahu tells you what the action was done for, for what reason the action was done. Right? The final cause, if you want, of the action. The maf'ul له أو المفعول لأجله. and that literally translates to مفعول done for it or done for the reason of it. and and that's exactly what it is. مفعول لأجله أو مفعول له. what does it look like? or how does it appear? It will be a word, specifically a master, right? Um, and a master that pertains to an internal action, right? That is in halatun nasb after a verb, right? And it answers the question. Why the action was done. Why the action was done. Not how the action was done, or when the action was done, or what the action was done to. As opposed to all of those things, it answers the question, why the action was done. And like I said, it, it refers, it will be in the form of a master. What do you mean by a master? It's referred to as a, verb, a verbal noun, right? And it will be a verbal noun in the form of a internal action. They will, they will, they will call it a fi'alun, a masdarun li fi'alin qalbi. Something that, like an action of the heart. As opposed to an action of your limbs. Like, it will never be darb. Darb is a, is a, is a masdar as well. It's a verbal noun of the action hitting. Heating is a physical action. It's action, uh, you know, um, acted out by your limbs. A maf'ul li'ajlihi will not be like that. It will be an action undertaken by your heart. Right. So, I have an example here on the board. Ja'a hubban lil'ilm. Ja'a hubban lil'ilm. What does that mean? Ja'a he came hubban. Okay, I have a translation on the board as well. So he came hubban. Hub we know between love. That's the master of, of uh, the, you know, the, the, the verb with the root letters ha, ba, and ba. Um, so he came hubban because he loved or out of love for lil ilmi, for knowledge. That harful jarun ismi majroor is connected to the master hubya. That's giving you more information about hub of what, right? But the, you see, oh, we have a verb ja'a, right? We have a word after that that's in halatun nas. Is it telling us what he did the action to? No. He didn't come to love or actually, I mean, that is not even transitive. But it's not telling us how he did the action. It's not telling us uh, when the action was done. It's telling us why he did the action, why he came. He came out of love or because he loved, because of his love for knowledge. For it will, it will be because you don't. I mean, literally, you don't have to translate it literally with a because, but you have to translate it in such a way that it conveys the mean, the meaning of a reason. 
I use the word because here yeah, because because very uh, vividly shows the presence of a reason. Right. Now let's do some examples of this. But it was a hal. Now I'm just I'm just guessing. Yeah. Okay, no, no. That is uh, something else. That's my own mutla. But we're gonna get the inshallah. Right? That one's very easy to identify. But we'll get the inshallah. So what we're focusing on here. We're always looking for something that answers the question why the action was done. But all mutlaq doesn't answer that thing. All mutlaq answers something else. Right. So I'm going to do one or two examples and we'll take some. Yeah, we have an example. Kalladi yunfiqu ma lahu nas. Like, just translate it. Kaladi, like the one who yunfiqu and taqayyum to suspend. Kaladi yunfiqu, he spends. What does he spend? Malahu, he spends also. Malahu is going to be what? Maf'ul li ajli, maf'ul bihi. What's it going to be? Maf'ul bihi. What, did the, what was the action of spending done to? It was done to his wealth. He spent his wealth. Ri'a an nasi. <laughs> uh, ria, you know from us maybe the word ria. What, is, what does that mean? For oh. show. So he did it ria and nasi so that people could see him for the sight of people. He did it so that people could see him. That word ria and nas, ria, the nas is connected to. Right? That's mudafun ilay. What is that telling me? As telling me why he did the action. He did it so that people could see him, or for the sight of people. Does that, that answer the question why? So what am I going to call that word ri'a? Maf'oolun li'ajlihi. What hal is it going to be? Halatun nasbi. Right. Question? Yes, he's a master. Yes. How does a master look? Master can take many forms. There's various forms of a master. Ra'a. <coughs> You're going to learn in your next lesson, in your next scale of sarf. This will be the master of that one. Like today, you learned a new form of a master. Taf'il. Fa'ala. Yufa'ilu. Taf'ilan. So before, you might not have thought to yourself, when I came across the word taf'ilan, you wouldn't have thought this looks like a master. But now after learning that it is a master form, you, will always, you should always recognize it as a master form. So this is similar to that. Right. Question. Now, the distinct functions in a sentence. You won't have your maf'ool and bihi playing the role of both maf'ool and bihi and maf'ool li or maf'ool lahu, because the one answers a question to what the action was done. The other one answers the question why the action was done. But it's not speaking anything about to what the action was done. Question? Right, we had that over here. Yes. The action of spending was done to what? To his wealth. But why was it done? So at once in this verse, or this part of the verse, we have a fi'al, yunfiqu. We have a maf'ulun bihi, ma'ala. And it's mudafun ilay the hu, ma'ala hu. Then we have a maf'ul li ajlihi as well, ri'a'a. And that word ri'a also has a mudaf ilay, 
رئاءً ناسي right you can see رئاءً ناسي is a mudaf mudaf really it's a light word and it's followed by word in jar right that also forms a mudaf mudaf really. but I'm going to call just the word رئاءً I'm going to call that ما مفعول لأجله it's in حالة النصب and the word الناس I'm going to call my مضاف إليه right Okay, let's take 10 minutes, 10 minutes, let's take eight minutes and just work through some of these examples. You can, you have groups, right? You guys have groups, right? So break up into your groups. I'm gonna make the, the online groups now. And then uh, let's work through some of these examples. You can see I only have 10 of them. Um, And I think I did maybe make them get a little bit difficult as we go through. Any questions from online? Before I open the breakout groups? <laughs> so, yes? You can carry okay. on. I, you guys should have, I mean, I think we sent uh, these pages. So when I see, when you break out your breakout groups now, you're no longer going to be able to see the shared screen. But, um, we should be able to use the PDFs that were sent to you, inshallah. Or somebody in each uh, breakout group can also share the screen with the, uh, with the thing on if, if you like. Usually it works. Usually when it's not here, it's not push to the end. So you'll find a demo to the thing.
Okay. Yeah, come everybody back here. Yeah? <coughs> okay. Any uh, any questions on what we've done as far? Well? If you had a confusion on number four, yeah. Okay. So let me just see clearly why I put that on there. Because when I just read it now, then uh, you guys see what's doing. I don't know. Okay, so we have a question about number four. What else? Number three. Number five. Okay. Okay, so um, let us just see quickly. Not corrections. I just want to see that we have the concept down so that you can do the homework. Excuse me? No, 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 so we have to do the homework. <laughs> Online people, what are you guys seeing, if I may ask? Page 24. Okay, but now I'll see something. I'll see something. I'll see something. And now? I see my Windows 8. Uh, fourteen. Yes, yes. Number four is actually a mistake. I don't know how number four got there. So, so, so I don't know why, why number four is me. I don't know if I put it there or what, but that's actually. There is something tricky in that verse, though, but that Ni'amat Allah is maf'ul thani and Kufran is maf'ul al-awwal. But that's, uh, but they're both maf'ul in these, actually. No, there's no maf'ul. <laughs> huh? Um, you see, if I understand it like this, you can say 
they, they, I mean, if I were just looking at the sentence, you could say they replaced the favor of Allah or they, they, they sought something in exchange for the favor of Allah out of disbelief or out of ingratitude. You could look at it like that. Uh, but in this verse, um, in, in this verse, the baddalu is actually the verb, ni'matallahi is the maf'ul thani. Because you, you would usually attach, I mean, I have to explain this to you now, or like, you would, you would put the harful jar before that. But don't worry about that. Otherwise, maf'ul, so just leave it. Okay, omit that, uh, omit that one, right? Okay, number three. Right? From the people, there are those who will uh, sell the nafs. is your master. Right? And it is telling you why they would, like, trade the nafs or sell the nafs. They would basically, your nafs referring to your desires almost. They would give the desires, they would sell it in exchange for something else. What do they want in exchange? The pleasure of Allah. So, ibtigha means because they are seeking. So, what, the one word that we will call them of only ajlihi is ibtigha. And then we will say, Marut. you can see Ibtigha is also a light word, isn't it? No Al, no Tanwi. So, and the word that follows it is in Jar. So it's, that's going to be Mudafun Ilay. In fact, Mardat is also Mudaf, and the Mudafun Ilay for that is Allah. That's on the eighth verse. That is on the eighth verse. So if you look at your, your list of scales that you had there, <coughs> right? Um, can I just see that do you, all of you guys you, all of you are the same book. on page number 26 right if we're looking for masters on other babs you're going to find them here there's your list of them and this one here is on the on this form ifti'al ibtigha the root of ba ra wow Oh, yeah. And it's on that one. Okay, number four, like I said, that one we're going to omit. Number five, فَأَتْبَعَهُمْ فِرَعُونُ وَجُنُودُهُ بَغْيَوْ وَعَدْوَى What's happening there? He calls, um, oh, Fir'aun and his armies caused them to follow them. Baghian out of? Out of hatred. Wa'adwan and enmity. So the out of is also telling you the reason, right? Because of enmity. And, but now, in this verse, what are we going to call him? What are we going to call him? What do you think we're going to call them? What, do, what are we going to call Baghian? Do we not call both of them uh, Adlan, Baghian and Adwan? Okay. Now, yeah, we only call them both that thing if there's no wah before the second one. Like if I say, I'll give you a sentence about Allah. Allahu Ghafurun Rahimun. Right? Allah is the Muqtada. Ghafurun is the Khabar, number one. And Rahimun is the Khabar, number two. But if I say, Allahu Ghafurun wa Rahimun, the meaning's uh, the same. Maybe it's like slightly less emphatic, the second one. But what would that mean? Allah is Ghafurun. And he's Rahim. What will I call him there? Allah Ghafurun. I will say Allah is the Mubtara. Ghafurun is the Khabar. But what will I say? That wadi is a harf, right? Harful atf. That's what we call it. What will I say? What will I call Rahimun? 
that the Rahimuna won't now call it the second khabar. I will say it's ma'atuf, it's an appendage if you want, to the khabar. It's something that's connected to the khabar. So here we have the same thing with adwan. Because you see the wah before it. We will say that it is ma'atuf, it is something that's connected to the maf'ul li'ajlihi. So in meaning, yes, it also has the meaning of a maf'ul li'ajlihi. But in terms of grammatical analysis, we will say that it is ma'atuf, it is what is connected to the, it's just the second word in a list. Right? <coughs> The same hal applies. Good. So the question is, didn't I say that when I have a word and then a wa and then another word adding to that list, then it takes the same rule? Yes, it takes the same hal. So you can see, Adwan is connected to Baghyan. For that reason, Adwan is in Nas because Baghyan is in Nas. But in terms of what I'm going to call them, I'm only going to call the first one the Maf'ul Ajli. And then I'm going to call Adwan Ma'atuf, the appendage, the thing that's connected in the list to Baghya. And it's, the reason I'm making a point of getting it right is because we want to enable you also to pick up a tafsir, the Arabi, a tafsir that focuses on the Arab and see it how it will be written there. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's not. You, you shouldn't be, we don't, the objective is not for you to be dependent on me telling you that. But, you know, inshallah, you'll be able to access it yourself. So in a, in a Arab tafsir, you will find it written like this. You'll find Baghyan, they will say, Maf'ul li ajlihi, or Mansubun, it's in Halat al-Nasb. Maf'ul li ajlihi, wa alamatu nasbihi. The sign of the Nasb is Al-Fatha, from Baghyan. And then you will say, you can potentially, there's no word. But usually, uh, I mean, I can't actually think of an example of it. Right? Yes, that's still the same. Okay. So what we do for homework is we complete this uh, exercise, inshallah. Um, those ten. Well, whatever questions there are on that next week, inshallah, we'll look at that, and then we'll move on to the next type of mafhoon, inshallah. Or maybe hal. We'll see. Um, in there for now. Is that more current? I mean to do some uh, Quran, but obviously our our time was not normal today. In there for now. Is that more current? Wa akhir da'wan hamdar bil alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. Molana, we didn't mark uh, last week's exercise. I was struggling a little bit with some of them. You know, finding the number four and B in the front, at the back. So I just took a surah and I said, okay, let me concentrate maybe on Surah Bakara and find all the examples. So okay. uh, it would be nice if we can share people's experience next week. Of Inshallah, we'll do that. Just remind me, please. Okay. Is that the line? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah.